The types of zombies in The Walking Dead, the variants, the ones that climb, the normal ones, but the normal ones that do other attitudes, a little different, and several others that have expanded this list as each new series launch, some new events we have in this universe. Yeah, that's the reason why I decided to bring you a list explaining what are all the types of zombies we have now, explaining what each one used to do, what is the difference, and if you wanna know, stay here and let's go. Hello everyone who watching this beautiful channel, my name is João Victor and I'm here, I'm back to talk about The Walking Dead again. Yeah, let's talk about this universe again because we have a lot of types of zombies since the main show started and mostly because of the spin-offs, now we can do a list like with the passing of the time, they've become a bigger problem. But first, don't forget to check the like in this video, it helps me a lot with the promotion and also I like to thank you for the feedback in all my videos explaining some points about this universe. If you are watching this video, and if you would like to receive more contents about this universe, don't forget to subscribe in this channel. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, here's the point. The initial proposal of a zombie series, such as The Walking Dead, which is the most successful, is to have some survivors trying to face these enemies, that is zombies, the people that were in fact the dead that came back and such, mostly well-defined, all with the same behavior. But at the beginning of The Walking Dead, the main show, we already have different zombies. And basically over the years, now we are in the spin-off era, we have new things, we have new types of zombies, there's already a huge list. And just to start this list, explaining everything and every point that each one makes, I want to start with the common zombies, the regular ones, the biggest enemies of The Walking Dead that we see most. Yeah, we have to talk about them first, this is the largest number of the zombies in the world, in this universe of The Walking Dead, which we still have a lot of ones very preserved, but we still have a lot of ones alive since the beginning of the outbreak, most deteriorated. But most of them have the same characteristics, they walk at a common speed, they really walk, they don't run, they have the objective of eating biting and everything else. Their great strength is in the bite itself. They used to join some hordes walking in groups, but there is usually nothing so different between them. So then we move forward, because from these common zombies, these regular zombies, you can take a different type of regular zombie who has a specific behavior. I want to talk about the stalker zombies. Yeah, some zombies that are hidden in some specific places. So like some places that people usually go through, don't use to check this place and some accident happens because they show up suddenly. They will take the person by surprise. In the show, we have some showing up from some lakes that are underneath there, here like this. In general, they are still some regular zombies, but they are some types that usually stay quiet in the corner or behind something, immersed at some water. They don't even move or make noise. They are standing there under a river, under a lake, or they are hiding under a bush, just waiting for someone to surprise them. Or as we saw in Dead City, the spin-off from Negan, and Maggie, they are in a closed place, like a sewer there, under some zombie bodies, under some rubble, just waiting for someone to pass by for them to appear. Yeah, we have several cases of zombies like this in The Walking Dead, the main show, in all the spin-offs. And you can say this is a specific type of zombie, this is not a variant, because they are so similar to the regular zombies, but at the same time they used to have some different behavior, because the regular zombies used to stay roaming around to walk. Well, but then we move on, because then we will change, then we enter in the big change, the situation here becomes more dangerous than we have already said here. Let's talk about the famous variant zombies, yeah, the zombies that returned in The Walking Dead in the last season, the season 11, because it's one of the great attractions in the end of The Walking Dead, their return, and now at other different points. Variant zombies basically are some zombies that have received some genetic mutation, have some variation of the virus or any type of infection that may make them have more human characteristics than normal, they don't lose so much, even some explanations from the scientists of the show themselves, some doctors say that they are much more active than other zombies, and there are several explanations there. But in general, these variant zombies have several types inside them, because it's never just, ah, this one is a variant zombie and always does the same thing. No, the variants of The Walking Dead can have several specific behaviors, for example, here the climbers, right, they 
can climb some walls, some stairs, they can climb places that normal regular zombies usually can't. We also have the intelligent ones, which usually, when it is a variant, always have some extra intelligence. But specifically, I like to talk about the issue that they can open some doors, they used to remember that it's possible to use some objects as a weapon, such as a zombie in the episode 19 of the last season of The Walking Dead, which picks up a stone to kill Jerry. He's not trying to bite to eat him, but he's trying to use a stone to kill him. And also there's another zombie in the last season, specifically in the episode 22, which we see that took the knife on the floor and we don't have the continuation of this scene. And if you don't know, they filmed some scene of him attacking one of the characters with the knife, but it was discarded in the end. It was some of the various deleted scenes of the show. But it would also be that type of zombie, that type of variant. It's not just the intelligent there, but these variants can also be stronger, they can be faster, they can cause scary situations that regular zombies usually don't and be obviously more dangerous. One point that many people know is that these variants also appear at the beginning of The Walking Dead, the season 1, which was very much for production reasons. That the initial showrunner Frank Darabont wanted the zombies to be like this, then it changed. But now, years later, they wanted to resolve this. They bring them back as an explanation to the universe that variants have always been present, but they are not everywhere. Atlanta, for example, in the beginning had several variants, and other states where they passed it later did not have it. So Ohio, the state that we see in the last season, is a place that has it. The mutation of this infection was focused on some more specific locations. In fact, there's needs to be this explanation. You can't just say, oh, it's because it was a change of showrunner and that's up in the air, there's a plot hole in the show, there are variants in the beginning and there are variants in the end. There has to be an explanation. But then we move on, because we go to the concepts of the new types of zombies, which would be almost like variants, but it's not variants. I want to talk about some other different types, some new ones that showed up for the first time in 2023, in the first season of The Walking Dead The Dixon. Let's talk about the burner zombies. Yeah, the zombies there that basically have some acid in their skin, in their blood, that just by coming into contact with the skin of a human, they burn. Like we see, it happens with Daryl in France in the first season of his spin-off. And not only the human skin, objects, walls, branches, and other things, they can burn. It is a very sinister acidity and the person can even die from the infection of this burner. As if it were a bite, if it's not treated. Although there is a way to treat more easily than a bite, which would be cauterized, different from the bite that cauterization apparently does not solve. And so, where did they come from? Where did these burner zombies come from? It's a normal mutation or not? Yeah, basically, if you watch the second season of The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, we have this explanation, it's very recent. There we see a guy that lives in France, his name is Remy, talking to Carol. They are in Genese base, the villain's base, and he says that this villain group calls these burner zombies, because they are testing some serum in some people, and some of them were injected and it caused some mutation. This mutation made these zombies with some acid in their bloods. But since we are talking about the villain from Daryl's spin-off, let's talk about the scariest type of zombies that she herself caused. Let's talk about the super zombies, or you can say the evolved zombie. Yeah, it's not the same variant that we see in Atlanta and Ohio in the main show, no. These zombies didn't turn into super zombies because of some mutation, some natural mutation. Basically, this villain and her group, the power of the living, used a serum that is injected into them, some regular zombies, and makes them become extremely aggressive and very strong. Strong and crazy, having a speed never seen before and a normal strength that even this one that we see in the first season in some Daryl's flashback when he was at the ship, this zombie can kill people without a bite, but only with his hand. He can disviscerate the whole person. He can destroy someone by using his hand. Although by watching this show, we see that this serum is not 100% effective and can cause some zombies themselves to explode there or kill each other. In the second season, we saw that they improved this serum, but there are still chances of it going wrong, but it is a type of zombie that was created after the beginning of the outbreak, many years after the beginning of everything. Also in the second season of Daryl Dixon we see an army of them attacking the Union for Hope base, a horde of super zombies, evolved zombies attacking them. But okay, following this we have to go back to the types of zombie that are a little common, but with is a specific type that appeared more in some other shows. I like to talk about the radioactive zombies that appear mostly in Fear the Walking Dead. It is also like not something genetic.
genetic, a natural genetic mutation that happened. It is something that could happen to any human being if they were to stay alive after receiving radiation. Here in this case, they are regular zombies, extremely normal zombies who had contact with some radiation after the outbreak. This here, for example, this is one of the zombies from Fear the Walking Dead. These first cases we saw were contacts with radiation from a nuclear power plant that was there since the beginning of the outbreak that this power plant exploded. And the others were caused by some explosion of nuclear warheads there in sixth season of Fear. The entire seventh season is almost based on just radioactive zombies. They're like regular zombies, but they are not that common because it's a big threat. But then I separate for this video a bonus one, a special one following the types of zombies, because this is a unique case in the Walking Dead universe that we don't even have any reproduction so far, and we don't even know so far if there will be. I want to talk about the zombie fusion. Yeah, this zombie or zombies who appeared in the Walking Dead Dead City, the Negan and Meg's spin-off in the first season. Yeah, there specifically we see the zombies in the episode 5. We have this fusion of zombies that basically wasn't done by people's hands or anything. It was something natural that happened, but mostly because of the condition that these zombies were subjected to. Basically, there were several zombies that were trapped Pressed and other things in some sewers of New York. And for several years, yes, since the beginning of the outbreak they were there. And in the end, the bodies of several of them here that we see are like four, for example, came together making a big zombie, a very monster zombie, that despite not being so strong, you could see that Maggie kills easily. It doesn't have so much locomotion, it's very deteriorated, well destroyed. Despite that, yet it is extremely scary. Maybe the visually scariest zombie in the Walking Dead. You can put in the comments what you think about it. It is like a unique case, but it deserves to be mentioned here in this video. It's a type of zombie. It proves to us that it's possible for zombies to merge. So like in the sewer of some other big city in the world, this may have happened too, but it shouldn't be shown again in the Walking Dead. Basically that. Go write in the comments. What do you think about it? Of course, there may be some others that may appear in the future of the Walking Dead, in the future seasons of like that city, second season season that we will release in 2025, the third season of Daryl Dixon, it's very probable. When that happens, I can come back here and make another update video. So you liked this video, don't forget to check the like here, it helps me a lot with the promotion. If you like more contents about the Walking Dead universe and more, don't forget to subscribe here. I'd like to thank you for the feedback in all my videos, thank you for your patience with my English. As I used to say, it's not my native language, but I'm trying to practice. Thank you for watching this video, I'll be back soon and bye!